Denver's Bonnie Bray neighborhood was designed to evoke the feel of a quaint Scottish village. I suppose even Scotland has condos now, and the initial concept plan to tear down the Bonnie Bray Tavern and the gift shop next door calls for them to be replaced by a massive 68,000 square foot building with retail space, residential space, restaurants, and parking. Now, this is not a done deal yet, but neighbors told our Mike Grady they are watching closely. Okay, do you like it on a cone or in a bowl? Bonnie Bray ice cream like slingers. Are you going to get some? <laughs> have been asking tough questions for over 70 years. So many things to decide. I haven't seen that many changes to tell you the truth, which is a good thing. <laughs> Cindy Pilet is one of the shop's owners. Yep, silly. Amy Sheridan's been coming here her whole life. Oh, Bales. It's a favorite spot to take her kiddos. We love that it's a traditional ice cream shop. A concept plan for the block across the street shows big changes that may be coming to the neighborhood. The tavern and the dry cleaners carry, and then wish that corner is going to be gone too. Potentially making way for 68,000 square feet of housing, restaurants, and retail. A little bit nervous about off street parking for our customers. And actually, one of my thoughts was okay, if there's not good parking, I'm not going to tell the kids out. This is where the ice cream store is because we're just going to drive by. More residents may mean more ice cream well, scooped. We want to be good neighbors with our across the street neighbors. More. Amy hopes developers will keep the integrity of the area yeah, intact. So it's really fun to have traditions to pass down to your kids that you used to do. And if it changes a lot, then you really can't pass on those stories or they're hard for your kids to imagine. As long as they keep the, the flavor of the neighborhood, in mind in their development. Billy, let me clean off your face. We're looking forward to being good neighbors with them. Okay, you're not even getting anything. <laughs> For next, good job. I'm Mike Grady. Come on, do your hands. This development is not a surprise. If you watch next, you know we've been following the trail of paperwork on the Bonnie Bray Tavern for a while. The owner asked for a non historic designation from the city. That allows for demolition. The neighbors could have stepped in to fight for the historic label, but nobody chose to do that.